Hi, welcome to the Center of Maths Problem of the Week. This week our problem is a class of 10 students took a math test. Each problem was solved by exactly seven of the students. If the first nine students each solved four problems, how many problems did the 10th student solve? So we're going to define our variables. We're going to let n equal the number of problems that the 10th student solved, and we'll let p equal the total number of problems on the test. Um, so n is what we're solving for, and since each, each uh, problem was solved by exactly seven of the students, the total number of correct solutions written is equal to 7p. And the number of problems that the first nine uh, students solved plus the Solution, the number of problems that the tenth student solved is equal to the total number of correct solutions. And each, the first nine students each solved four problems, so they solved a total of 36. We have 36 plus n is equal to 7p. We'll divide both sides by 7. Now we have 36 plus n divided by 7 is equal to p. We also know that the number of problems that the 10th student solved has to be less than or equal to the total number of problems on the test. So n is less than or equal to p, which implies if you multiply both sides by 7, we have 7n is less than or equal to 7p. And we know that 7p is equal to 36 plus n. When we solve for n, we have n is less than or equal to 6, and n also has to be greater than 0 because greater than or equal to 0 because it's the number of problems the 10th student solved can't be negative. So we have 36 plus n divided by 7 is equal to p, and n is between 0 and 6. And the only number that works that gives, that gives p as an integer is n equals 6. And that is our answer. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out centerofmath.org, visit our blog, and be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.